And you should be ashamed of yourself because you're a reporter and you're not reporting facts. You're telling lies. Joe Biden made a political decision. It was a Ted Cruz freak out. The Texas Republican senator was trying to blame Joe Biden for undocumented immigrants crossing the border when that reporter accurately pointed out it's been happening for years. Let, 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 me, let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. What rate of illegal immigration did we have in 2020? But you have Do you know anything? I asked you a question. How long have you been in office? Do you know anything? How long have you been in office? I've been in office 11 years yes, now. and this has been okay. kicked the calendar in multiple administrations. It, except your, okay, Trump you don't get to argue with me. You asked your question. You, you asked your question. You don't get, you want to hold a press conference, you can do it over there. You have How are you? You want to hold a press conference, you can do it over there. How are you? Senator right, so, so hold on, I'm going to answer his question. But instead of answering his question about how long this has been going on, Cruz pivoted and attacked Democrats. The talking point of the Democrats, which this media reporter happily parrots, is, gosh, the problem can't be fixed. There's one little problem with that. It is an utter and complete lie. In 2020, the last year of the Trump presidency, we had the lowest rate of illegal immigration in 45 years. But that was because of the COVID pandemic. You ask, what have I done? I've championed the men and women of Border Patrol. I've championed securing the border. I've championed Remain in Mexico. And we turned this problem around and solved it. And we went from Joe Biden inherited the lowest rate of illegal immigration in 45 years. And the first day in office, he made political decisions to cause this problem. Even nonpartisan fact checkers call that false. Biden did take actions on his first day in office, but these executive orders were to rescind the ban on Muslim and African immigrants, strengthen the Deferred Action for Childhood Immigrants or DACA program, something that Donald Trump had abruptly terminated, and put a 100-day pause on undocumented immigrant removals. None of that, according to experts, had a significant impact on the number of undocumented immigrants crossing into the United States. The Biden administration has added thousands of U.S. troops to the border, increased the number of Border Patrol agents, and unveiled new processing centers. And there is a legitimate debate about whether all of that is enough. But Ted Cruz seems especially frenzied these days. And it may have something to do with this. As Newsweek reports, Ted Cruz's Senate future could be in peril. Democratic lawmaker Colin Allred, a former NFL football player, has launched a 2024 Senate campaign against Cruz. Allred's message is making waves. When I left the NFL, I thought my days of putting people on the ground were over. Then, January 6th happened. And Ted Cruz, he cheered on the mob. We will not go quietly into the night. Then hid in a supply closet when they stormed the Capitol. But that's Ted for you. All hat, no cattle. When Texans were freezing in the dark, he jetted off to Cancun. He'll do anything to get on Fox News, but can't be bothered to help keep rural Texas hospitals open. Spends months trying to whip up phony culture wars, but not a minute trying to raise wages or lower drug prices. The struggles of regular Texans just don't interest him. Mm, tough stuff, and so Ted Cruz is feeling the political heat. To all rational thinking lawmakers, journalists, and citizens, Beware, it clearly does not take much these days to set off the Republican senator, and Cruz is already lashing out. You should be ashamed of yourself because you're a reporter and you're not reporting facts, you're telling lies. Joe Biden made a political decision. By the way, a Republican House Committee Chair investigating President Biden just got humiliated after whiffing on a Biden probe. So right now, you could say that uh, we're in the, the beginning stages of this investigation, but we're going to continue to look. Check out that video at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.